it out. Tonight I've been dealing with, look, my ex-friend, uh, Julian, she used to live with me, she's from up here. And, and I had to put her on blast on fucking TV and all that, or whatever, anyone's gonna watch this, but... The girl makes me so furious, because we're in the awakening, and, you know, she, she's definitely got this angelic quality about her, she's a caregiver for a living, for a job. And she's got these hands that heal and this and that. Ever since I've known the girl, when I first met her, she was doing this muscle-bound California, like he won a weightlifting contest thing. You know, like, hey, what's up? Yeah, what's up, man? Dr drove a fucking convertible red Mustang. She's like 21, pretty cute and blonde, but more like, you know, like scraped knees, Courtney Love, hot tomboy, softball player. And like, she was telling me the other night how guys were making fun of her that she dated this guy. I'm like, you are the quintessential person who would date a guy like that. Every other guy she dates is like younger than her, which makes me like if she if he's thirty, uh, he um, he's actually twenty, because you know how women are thirty, they actually, they're forty. We're all mature idiots. Come on, guys, let's be honest. And she gets off on it, and I have to hear these fucking stories. This guy, like, you know, oh, this guy was married to her best friend. It was a fluke because they got married like at twenty, and they broke up, of course. And within fucking three weeks, the motherfuckers in her house watching movies. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what is your plot here? She's an alcoholic. He's a drunk. His mom left him. Next thing you know, I'm hearing stories because I'm in PB and she's in Goose, how he's running around town, a psycho, psychopath ex, telling everyone how I claimed I was going to marry him. You know, I'm like, there's got to be truth to this. The chick does that. Then she told me, oh, I love this guy downstairs. He was a paramedic. And well, you know what I think happened? My roommate was having sex one night, and she was really loud, and I think he heard her. And he thinks it's me. And I'm like, I know how your place is. I, I used to live there. Um, he knew it was, was you. Who, the, who were you fucking that night? And why are you fucking these people? Why are you not giving some of your love and caring to nice people? And I'm not saying me. I'm saying the soldiers out there. Why is it always the punk kid that's missing the mom? Is that the way it's supposed to be? And it's embarrassing. And I tell her that. There's an awakening going on. You should realize that. And then every guy is the guy. Every guy, she's falling in love with every guy. Now she's with this dude. And and she says, like, oh, like, he's my soulmate. Like, I look in his eyes and I see love. And then she starts telling me things like, she just found out, like, this guy or this girl she, he's been hanging out with is, like, they used to fuck. But they're just friends now. And then, like, on Facebook, he, there's another girl he has listed as his sister. Oh, and by the way, we used to have strong feelings for each other. And she believes it. And all of her friends are agreeing, like, girl, there's a red flag right there. And she doesn't see it. No, not at all. They're, they're that trusting of each other. I mean, everything the girl does. She says she plays heartstrings for guys. I mean, the, her, this one guy she should never got with, she lived with him. She lived with me for a long time. I was, it's right when I was getting over my ex. So I was in that phase where, like, I didn't care about women. I hated all women. So apparently that was a turn-on. Why? Because I didn't want her. But I didn't realize that. So, she, like, she doesn't make a move on me, like, bad. But, like, you know, we were in her room and she was drunk. And next thing you know, she's, like, massaging my head and this and that. And something could happen. And it didn't dawn on me. It's because I didn't give a shit. And, like, I guess she didn't win. Because I didn't reject her. But, like, I answered the door. Someone answered and, and, and like she walked away and then she slams the door and is all upset and denying it to everybody. And I'm not trying to put her on blast. I'm just saying, well, why don't you love someone who's really going to love you instead of these little kids who hump your legs? I mean, every single one of the kids you date are little fucking children. You live in Santa Cruz. They are punks. Why do you always call everyone punks? I, first of all, I call everyone a punk. Okay? They drive around and raise trucks that say metal militia with no shirt on, they're white Nazi kids. I'm from LA and you're from Satan's Cruz. There's not one minority that lives in that fucking city. All right? You are not exposed to good individuals. They're not your soulmates. They don't have the seed of the gods. Go out and find yourself a real fucking man who could fucking fuck you the right way and doesn't come and complain to you every, for every little fucking thing so you can hug and caress him. Is it a, is it a power thing? What is it? And then you, and then you text me when I don't want to talk to you. And I fall into it. I fall into it. Like, dude, she does care about me. She's texting me. I even though it's mad, it's because she cares. Bullshit, dude. She's sucking you in as a slave. Don't text me anymore. Don't. All right? You don't give... 
you don't really have the ability to care like some people do. I lived with a girl for six years. We fought a lot. All kinds of things happened. All right? But th we lived together. All right? We took her brother to the hospital when he broke. broke we were there for 9-11. We were there for robberies, fires, when our friends killed themselves for my drug addiction. That's a real relationship. Okay? Watching movies and being cuddle buddies is not. And next thing you know, this guy doesn't get a piece of pussy, and he's committing suicide, and you're and you're making fun of him like, what a weak kid. Like, God, how, how, how do I end up with these types? You're fucking a bad person. Stay away from me.